Hi, I'm Janae Meadows with JanaeMeadows.com, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Shape Builder tool in Illustrator. Okay, so first things first, you're going to need a couple of shapes if you're going to use the Shape Builder tool. So I've got a square and a circle. Then I'm going to go over to this new cool tool. It's over right in the middle of the tool palette. Looks like a couple of circles with a cursor. You can also hit Shift M to bring it up. I'm just going to click it right there. All right, so first things first, you need a couple of shapes to, in order to use the Shape Builder tool. I got a square and a circle, and I'm just going to overlap them. And I'm going to select both of them. And then I'm going to go over and select my Shape Builder tool, or hit Shift M. And you can see, now when I put my mouse over it, things darken in. And you got a little plus symbol there, too. Check him out. Now watch what happens when I click and drag. You see a line, a little tail end comes over, and now it just joined those two shapes together. Do it from the square to the circle, same deal. Now if you hit option, it turns to a negative, and I can just click in that middle piece there and watch, pachooge, punched it right out. So it's a quick, handy way, instead of going to the Pathfinder and having to like choose those options, you can just go to your Shape Builder tool and quickly do what you want to do with your shapes. Well, I hope you learned a thing or two about the Shape Builder tool. If you want to see what I'm up to, go to JanaeMeadows.com, and also be sure to check out some of my other tutorials.